One percent, one more shot. Oh, didn't have to do it. Okay, he's dead. So, <laughs> that was uh, a deadly anaconda taken out in a Diamondback Explorer. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Lead Dangerous Without Tour This is me. So for the longest time I've wanted to build a sniper PvE build and I've tried multiple times and failed multiple times but I think that I finally come up with a build that somehow works. This is a PvE build meaning you sh probably shouldn't expect this to run and do any PvP and as you can see here it is built on a Diamondback Explorer. I'm not gonna go into too much details with the build now. I am gonna do a dedicated build guide. So if you want to replicate this build, there's a link in the description. There's some odd modules in there. So stay tuned to the channel for the build guide that should be out in the not too distant future. So right now, as you can see here, we're heading into a pirate activity zone because this ship really relies on keeping its distance. And since we are gonna be sniping at like five to six kilometers, ideally, we want bigger targets. It's easier to hit. So. These pirate activity zones is a really good place to take a ship like this because it's full of anacondas that are flying solo, meaning not in the wing. And of course, the idea is to stay very cold. As you can see right now, we are sitting here idling at 12% heat. So this will run very cold. Obviously, we're running shieldless here because it is designed to be able to go silent running with this very good heat efficiency. It can silent run for quite a long time, especially if you keep your hand off the little boost button, then you should definitely be able to keep this thing flying and silent running for quite some time and it can save you. So here we are in the zone. You can see speed wise 320 um, without boosting. If I hit the boost button, this thing will go up well beyond 400. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty fast little ship. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, deploy our weapons. Of course, we are running uh, rail guns here and we're inside on power. So there's some modules that are shutting off. That is by design. And now we're just going to find ourselves a target. Okay, here we go. I found myself a pretty good target, a deadly anaconda. A good tip is sometimes when they get out, especially when they get out long distances, it can be difficult to see exactly where the ship is. So I recommend targeting a subsystem. I like often to go for um, for a shield generator, but you can go for a power plant and try to over damage it and get an early kill. Often I think it's fun to go for the shield generator. Since we're running railguns, we're going to be doing plenty of damage. He's at a pretty good range now, just over five. We have a max range of six kilometers. So I'm just going to point my weapon at him and begin to fire at him. There we go. He turns around and he begins to chase us, which is just perfect for us. And if I could actually hit, that would be a lot easier. Keep an eye on our throttle here so we don't drift out too far. And just keep him out of that nice, like, five to six kilometer range. Basically just flying the ship in reverse right now. As we're sitting here shooting him with our rail guns. There we go. That's his shield down. Now, I want to talk a little bit about some of the uh, modules engineering on this. You might notice that my rail guns here, they have no ammo count. They only have the one shot loaded. And that's because I'm running plasma slug. That means I'm actually using my fuel as ammo. And that's one of the issues I had with the build early on was that it was it would constantly run out of ammo because we are consuming quite a lot of ammo. Okay, so you managed to get a little bit closer. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to go silent running. And then I'm just going to do a single boost here. We can see we can easily manage a single boost. We're up to 50% heat. Let's do another one. While well, we keep our silent running on. And we're just going to get some nice distance from him. And then we can turn around and we can keep on shooting at him. You could of course go FA off if you wanted to. But I often found it easier just to put this thing in reverse. Now this is definitely not the fastest build when it comes to taking down ships. You can see here this is actually taking quite a while. So you probably shouldn't use this as a, uh, as a ratting build or a, a combat PvE build. If you want to be efficient. But it is quite a bit of fun. And there's some good learnings if you're not used to fixed weapons. This is definitely good training for that, since you can really focus on, on your aiming and you don't really have to worry too much about your flying because you pretty much just have to point your ship in the general direction of the ship you're shooting at. 1%, one more shot. Oh, didn't have to do it. Okay, he's dead. So, <laughs> that was uh, a deadly anaconda taken out in a Diamondback Explorer, taking 7% damage. And if I'd been a little bit more careful and turned around and flew away when he began to get close, well, I wouldn't have had to take, uh, take any damage at all. 
Now, there's a little nifty feature I want to show you about this build. Now, because we're running Plasma Slug and therefore is consuming fuel instead of ammo, that means that we technically we never actually rearm because there is no weapons to rearm. There is just fuel. We only refuel. <laughs> As you can see here, I am running premium. That's a little blue arrow here. That means I'm running a some premium ammo. In this case, it's 30% uh, plus. And because we never rearm, that bonus never goes away. This was fixed in a previous patch like years back so i don't know if that's a bug or if it's intended to be this way but at least as it is right now once you put premium on these weapons it will stay on there and it will stay on there forever pretty much as long as you have no weapons on the ship that requires a rearm then that bonus will stay there normally the premium ammo should only stay there until you like empty all the uh, ammo you have with you when you go and do a rearm then it sets sets it back to uh, to normal standard ammo doesn't matter you can log out you can put the ship into storage you can take it out the premium will stay on the ship but despite this bonus it's not a terrible effective build uh, it does take it a good 10 minutes to take down a deadly anaconda and it doesn't handle smaller ships very well small fast ships obviously they're more difficult to hit with fixed weapons and if they're faster, that also means they're more difficult to keep at distance. So this is not a build I would recommend that you do, unless you just, you know, want to have some fun, because it is actually quite a fun build. It's good training for, with fixed weapons. If you're not really good at it, like me, then you can get a bit of training. There will, of course, be a build link in the description. You can go and pick that up. And if you want more details on the build, all the engineering mods and the other modules, how I got the heat down to the level they're at, then stay tuned to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you get that video once it's out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video today. If you did, remember to give it a like, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.